guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, please hit the like button, notification bell to be notified another for when I upload another entertaining video. Let's get started. This video is a reaction video to what is happening in the Rivera family feud. Rosie Rivera, not good as she tries to remain upbeat. Rosie Rivera has been accused of the heinous crime of embezzling $300 million by her deceased sister's heirs. Rosie Rivera is the younger sister of Jenny Rivera, who was a Mexican regional artist and died in a plane crash in December of 2012, when her career was coming to retirement as she planned to stay home more in the future and care for her young children. At the time of her death, she was worth $25 million. Sadly, Jenny's life was cut short during a private air flight from Monterey, Mexico, where she flew with four others, including the pilot, all perished in that crash over Iturbide, Nuevo León, Mexico. She had just finished a concert and had been approached by another artist, asked if she needed a ride to their next venue. The venue was a few hours away by car, a distance of what could be deemed also as a short flight. She declined that offer and boarded a private jet with her manager, makeup artist, and others when the jet fell off radar shortly after takeoff. Jenny Rivera and her oldest daughter, also known as Chiquis Rivera and a singer in her own right, was left out of the will for something the public didn't quite understand that was Jenny somehow believed that her husband, the ex-ball player and once member of the Dodgers, Esteban Loaiza, had a sexual relationship in the dark, in the midst of Jenny's abode. In other words, Jenny saw camera footage where she had herself seen or confirmed that it was time to revise her will and cut Chiquis out. Chiki's Janae Marin has denied this. Meanwhile, Lupillo Rivera is laying, out, laying it out for all to remember that they were caught taking 80 grand and he thinks they're responsible for more and, and 80,000 is what they can prove. He has vowed to support his nieces and nephews for his sister's legacy and when he says the other siblings who were essential wannabes in the music industry couldn't hack, or as in they never made it in music and now are just bitter. Juan has asked for $300,000 in response to an audit that Jenny Rivera's kids have asked for that took Rosie Rivera 180 days to file an answer to la lapsing the time she had of only 60 days, making her look guilty by popular fanatics of the regional Mexican singer, Jenny Rivera. It's bad. Recently, Juan Rivera, known as a failed singer of Mexican regional music, said so by his brother Lupillo, who has amassed $125 million in sales and who is living in the Los Angeles area, has claimed his brother's boisterous to pretend he made it when everyone knows he couldn't cut it. Tough words for a tough guy acting like he has all the proof that will exonerate him. But the reality is, where did Juan get $10 million in assets? If Rosie is worth $14 million and Jenny Enterprise is said to be more worth more than $300 million since her death. While well, the kids had filed, had to file for an audit, they say was problematic. It was discovered after the results that there had been grand larceny and the albacen or person in charge of the money, who was Rosie, wanted them to sign a non-disclosure, admitting it was someone close to her, evading it was someone close to her responsible and that it would be filed as a loan per a public relations publicist, also involved in the matter. Not confusing considering the husband said Rosie agreed he had a gambling problem 
and that he took the money simultaneously opening an account that would easily siphon the money out for years hence the loan part probably made the kids feel cornered jenny was famous for her non-filtered americanism she wore adidas sweatsuits overalls and people loved her but it's clear when you get what you wish for the work is never ending and jenny saw that working any longer in this business was likely not an option you see the cartels were angry that she had been giving concerts throughout her career because jenny sold because jenny sold tickets it's hard to keep the guys in the street when she comes to town likely a desmadre in the words of all Mexican and business was not to be interrupted. Things went awry when she came to do the shows in Mexico and the cartel leaders knew it. It made them angry that they couldn't control that. So they warned her more than once. The stage was set up, was set before Jenny had reached Monterrey for a show. She was an avid Twitterer when Chavela Vargas died. She had expressed her sadness at the news. I didn't know who they were, but it was off after Jenny's death I recalled seeing that tweet. Chavela was a friend of Frida Kahlo, and she was also her lover. Chavela was a Costa Rican born woman who escaped conventionalism to sing on the streets of Mexico in the 1940s, to wear ponchos and carry guns openly to defend herself at a time when you probably needed to do that if you were going to sing your way to start up on the streets. That was how I learned of Jenny, La Chacalosa. I passed Jenny in the streets on Roscoe in 2008. She had a taco truck and her face was on the side. I thought it was just ads for her as I wasn't a fan of Mexican music. La Gran Señora had various controversies during her life, but it is most noted for pressing charges when she learned her husband and father of her three oldest kids were accosted various ways and subsequently abused perversely by their biological father, who also molested Rosie Rivera. It was Rosie who told. The trial played out in the entertainment media and the man Trino Marin was found guilty and sent to prison. Many people, i.e. myself, think that the damage to the family, however detrimental it was, could be the reason for the way the family has been present in the media today. And maybe why the Riveras have been seeing red for a while, only now it has come to the catalyst of the audit. The missing money or even the two sides coming together in a truce. The family has YouTube channels for every member, including the parents. Monetization has taken the forefront as Juan and others say that Jenny's fortune has run its course like everything else has and recently gave a presser where he evaded all the answers to the questions he was asked and continued to gaslight his public, the media, and press in accordance with his inflated ego. As his brother says, he's nobody in the music and is literally jealous. It all stems from a phone call Lupio claims he got from his daughter telling him she received mail for her cousin when the cousin was staying there at her home that she claimed the cousin opened and showed it was from Jenny Rivera Enterprises that was a check for two grand. Said cousin has denied that. Accusations and threats abound. I wonder I wonder what will happen if anything will go to if anyone will go to jail.